Hey everyone, what's up? How are ya? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya. It's time for some creepy videos. So yeah, let's go. Huh? Sound as good as it. Top 10 scary ghost videos. Maybe a little bit. Playing Luis, around. also known as I Got Cute Ankles on TikTok, shared some funny yet very creepy footage of himself in 2020 that ended up going viral. Luis states in the description of the original video that what you're about to see was his very first paranormal experience since he was a kid, and he's shocked that he actually got it on camera. Hmm. Alright, so the video you're about to see is very, uh... It's very scary because this literally just happened five minutes ago so i was just downstairs shooting a skit uh and this kid's toy decides that you know right now is a perfect time to go off yeah like that can't be a malfunction come on it's probably made in china <laughs> and i said nah you see you see like that's crazy how about you you don't do that my guy so you know i squared up to the ghost i started mm -hmm, boy make that go off again if you want these hands i said make it go off again if somebody's there um <laughs> i'd be creeped out though as well so yeah i was just trying to let you out my doggy why do demons always gotta come get me now you see i left out the part where i pooped myself right here <laughs> this part wasn't in the video but i said say less my guy say less i'm out we don't got problems i'm going to sleep right now Luis catches a kid's toy going off, making some racket by itself in the corner of a room. You know what, have been, what would have been really terrifying? Where I would have said, okay, maybe there's something to it. If there were no batteries in that toy, then yeah, I'd probably, I'd grab it and throw it out the window. Because the, that'd be really scary, but with batteries inside... Everything being crap nowadays, it's probably just some malfunction and it just turned on by itself. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's, there's high moisture and that makes, you know, toys go off in, in the room. In, 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 humidity, that, not moisture, humidity, something, whatever, you know. <sighs> this type of thing usually wouldn't be a big deal. Although, as you saw in the video, Luis asks whoever or whatever to set the toy off again, to which it replies by saying the words, someone's coming. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> I was just trying to let you out, my doggy. Why do demons always gotta come get me? Oh, did now he just see, say, why do demons always try to come and get me? And then there's some, uh, okay, well, that, mm, mm, maybe, I don't know, bathe that toy in holy water, <laughs> take the batteries out, or just throw it out the window, or give it to a neighbor. <laughs> okay, that's mean. Hmm. Yeah, see, if you watch the, the, the one video I did about demons, that, that kind of really got to me. I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of thinking about that topic, and uh, maybe there is more to it than I just want to realize, because the topic kind of creeps me out. Although I've never been, I've never really been scared of demons. I didn't believe in demons for a whole long time of my life until I... Uh, made a first-hand experience so uh, that was the one reason you know I kind of push it out of my life but that doesn't change anything about demons being real at least for me in my perception and, and my beliefs I believe in demons yes because I learned the hard way so maybe I don't know maybe they are messing with him I just don't want to fall back into you know I know I'm very uh, for the last I don't know two years or three years or four years I've been leaning very much to the rational logical side and I know I always get caught up in one side too much I lose my balance in seeing things and now I'm just really afraid of going too far to the other side again and saying oh, oh that's the demon that's the demon that's the demon that you know everything is demons well, it's not, but I know I, I've been leaning too far to the rational side and saying everything is psychology. 
which it doesn't have to be. So yeah, well, never mind. We got that out of the way. Now let's go on. I poop myself right here. I would have The downright too, so. creepy clip blew up, which is <laughs> no surprise. This is yet another one of those moments that wouldn't be believed had it not been caught on camera. My haunted Harry, hotel. Brett, and Danny, the trio behind the relatively new video series called My Haunted Hotel, recently caught something unbelievable on camera. My Haunted Hotel is a paranormal reality show that gives an insight into what it's like to live and work in one of the most haunted hotels in the UK. Just like the show, the building is 100% real and Aww. is named Ye Old King's Head, a building that dates buildings. back to 1622, so said to be one of, if not the, most haunted in the UK. On Wednesday, the 28th of September at 2.16pm, Harry, the owner, received a notification on his phone showing that one of his 16 cameras caught something rather spooky. What Harry, Brett, and Danny believe to be the famous shadow figure, an entity that has been seen out the corner of people's eyes for many years now. Check this out. That shadow figure that we have, yes, captured on camera, has been caught on video. And this is what it looks like. As you can see in the video, off to the left against a wall is a transparent-like figure moving, changing shape as it glides down the corridor. The translucent entity appears to morph into different forms, to then disappear as it moves away from the camera. I would like to know how the rest of the place looks. I mean, could that have been just somebody passing by on the inside? Or is that on the first floor or on the ground floor? Could it have been someone passing by outside? Is this here a window? Because it looks kind of like a window. So what, maybe somebody just passed by outside and nobody really ever paid much attention to the recordings. And this was the first time there was a shadow noticed or... I have so many questions. This remarkable evidence by Harry is, however, just the beginning. I urge you to check out their page for many more creepy moments inside their building. You'll find that over on their YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Chris, the man behind the YouTube channel Urbex oh, we Hill, recently him. went out to explore times. an abandoned building thought to be empty for over 50 years. Having just bought an infrared camera, oh, Chris was keen to try one. it out in his latest exploration. What he ends up capturing, though, is frightening. What was sorry? Exploration, what is? Having just bought an infrared camera, Chris was keen to try it out in his latest exploration. What is? What is that camera standing on? Is that some kind of cooler? Exploration. What he ends up capturing, though, is frightening. Watching this back himself while editing, Chris has already pointed out a few creepy moments caught on his new camera that he has no explanation for. Watch the following very closely. Oh, we haven't seen that one in the last video, wherever that was with the, the little light floating. We only had the reflection or the, the light appearing here in this doorway. Hmm. I'm still pretty convinced that someone just passed by out over there with a light or a cell phone, just the dimmed light. Although it was interesting that he turned around when that weird shadowy thing passed, but maybe that wasn't real. Maybe he 
work that in afterwards. What do we know? I mean, it looks very, very pixely all in all. So for it being a being a new camera, I would have thought it would have been a better picture. But the okay, maybe it's due to zooming in. Sure, that makes the picture usually in the pretty distance. Pretty. Not too long after hearing a loud noise, it appears that some sort of mist manifests itself into some sort of white figure as Chris has his back turned. Not only that, but throughout his adventure in the creepy back rooms of this abandoned building. The stationary infrared camera caught what looks like orbs, other apparitions, and even a face. Check out the full video on Chris's YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for his upcoming creepy That's adventures. Really weird face. Links, as always, are below in this video description. Nightmares. When it comes to the paranormal, you could say that there are easily more skeptics than believers, so there's no doubting that. Although, if there was one person to change that, it would be this man, Ken Burris, from the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I've featured him and his videos countless times before, and for good reason. Having watched thousands of videos, his footage he records on an older digital camera is some of, if not the best I've ever seen. Videos that actually make me believe in the paranormal. In Kent's latest upload, he shares with his viewers his experience having his son over to his supposedly haunted house with- Sorry, I have to intervene. Not intervene, just got in for a second. Uh, I started believing in this kind of stuff. I was gonna say crap, sorry. Long before the internet and these kind of videos existed, so that has nothing to do with it. Actually, the fact of me watching so many of this, these videos has made me way more skeptic than I used to be back in the days. Because when you got to see something like that, it was usually on some TV show and it was so seldom, you know. And now it's like I watch, I don't know how many of these videos a month and uh, it's like, yeah, it gets repetitive and it gets, sometimes it does get a little boring as like come on can't you think of something new but um that's just me and as I always say I'm not trying when I say things like this I'm not trying to disrespect any of these people even if some just do it for their channels you know and even if they do fake stuff and hey what do I care as long as I'm entertained or creeped out or have some kind of if I can have some kind of reaction to it I'm happy I don't care if it's real or not I like watching these videos I like doing these reactions to it and it's just all good fun so yeah what did I intend to say originally? I have no clue. I probably said it. For the first oh, time, <laughs> Michael, being worried for his father, traveled out to Carmel, Maine to experience what it's like to communicate with those who have passed on. The following footage was recorded shortly after Kent heard a bunch of noises coming from upstairs. Due to the activity, I quickly make up my bed and pick up the room. I'm still hearing voices in the room. Once again, I hit record. As I'm by the stairs, I hear a strange voice in the room. When I turn around to look, there appears to be a faint female apparition standing to the right of the window wearing a blue dress. Okay, sorry for me pausing again. I just, um, the other day, or maybe a couple of weeks ago, I listened to uh, a podcast, a German podcast of paranormal encounters and the, and, and the stuff like that. And there was one dude, he does it professionally, or it's his profession to go check out people who call him and say, yo, something weird is going on. And he recounted one case where there was a guy who said he could hear voices and in his kitchen. And uh, I don't remember the exact details of everything, but it turned out he had this, some kind of metal pot some ornate pot standing in the corner of his kitchen and that pot somehow caught the radio signals of 
was it a nearby radio stations or the uh, the 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 mast for something? As I said, I don't remember the details, but he was there was it was just radio coming from uh, his from this pot. But he of course thought, oh God, it's haunted. There's weird you know sounds coming from from the corner of my kitchen. So it can be as simple as that. But yeah, that's I I was just reminded of that when he said he was hearing voices. Really? He hears I love you in that? Wow. I don't hear any. To me, it's just. Rawr, 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 rawr. Just some weird sound. Oh, God. Okay, now I see. Oh, wow. This but, is what hmm. I refer to as a glitch apparition. Many times the camera will make a strange glitch. I have found this could be caused by the shutter speed, but then there are times strange anomalies appear within the glitch. These are screenshots I kept on file from recordings that showed some of these anomalies. Mm, well, to me, that's just some form of pareidolia. As I learned a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> and I had that a lot as a kid, especially especially during the time when I was lying in bed falling asleep and uh, I was sometimes when I was lying in my eyes would kind of just pop open a little slit or sometimes when I couldn't fall asleep immediately I would look at something at the wall or out the window depending on where I was and uh, yeah and then I would start getting drowsy and my eyes would close or either open up a bit and I would see the weirdest things in in shadows or once there was this I remember once I was on vacation with my parents I was maybe 12 or 13 and there was a big tree outside my window and I was looking at that tree while falling asleep and all of a sudden I saw all these cartoon-like characters running around and jumping around on the tree and I was like oh cool a cartoon and I was gone you know I just fell asleep with those pictures but yeah so that that has always been kind of normal for me I just never knew it was called pareidolia until here recently like what a month ago or so was that what I was oh god this videos why is it always the long videos that I'm so talkative on oh that's gonna be Way too long. I don't really see anything in these last pictures. The day the house became active, I did a quick walkthrough recording. Once again, something appears in the recording, and this was not a glitch. Despite, yeah. Sorry, I didn't end the. I said I don't really see anything here, despite me seeing stuff everywhere as well, but that was just. nothing for me. Just shapes and forms and light and dark. Okay, now I see. Yeah, that looks like a shadow person standing there. For first-time viewers of Kant, images like these would be mesmerizing. However, unfortunately for Kant, these entities are all too common. I where's the blue dress? I mean, I can understand that here's her hair, here's the shoulder, and here's the rest of her butt. Okay, well, yeah, okay, this looks kind of bluish and long hair. Yeah. But isn't this just the curtain, just like this here? The second clip was recorded not too long after Kent was woken up by some obnoxious sounds coming from the TV. Earlier in the night, Kent was watching Stargate SG-1, a show he had seen many times before which he thought was still playing when he was awoken. However, it appears that some other show was playing on the TV, and something else was in the bedroom with him. Something actually terrifying. The moment I shut the camera off, I lay back down when suddenly the bed is nudged. I look at the end of the bed, there stood a very clear shadow apparition. I slowly lift my cell phone up, hit record. Usually these shadow apparitions move so fast, they are almost impossible to capture. 
This one just stood there staring at me. Its arms were phasing in and out. It wiggled its hips from side to side. It stood there in total silence. Then it quickly takes off and vanishes. Oh god, sorry. I just had another thought. What if these people along the, the all this this demon thingy what if people who do these kind of videos, who have channels and who do this as a profession, go out searching and hunting ghosts, searching for and hunting ghosts, maybe they call something into their lives by doing that. And maybe that is why some of them have so many ex experiences or, or stuff happening to them. And just because we can't always see it or I can't always see it or can relate to it, I mean, I... You know, it doesn't mean that not that, that that's not something happening to these people, that they have real experiences. Because from the way he's talking to it, talking about it, he seems to be serious. He seems to have made these experiences. So, you know, who am I to say, oh, no, that's all fake and whatnot. But I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't there. And as you know by now, I always tend to be very, very, very skeptic. And I, I had a phase, or well, no, I still, I kind of, I still kind of have this phase in my life where I just question everything. And is at, at some point, if you question everything, you lose. You kind of lose. You lose out on everything because what and who can I trust? I don't know. I kind of lost that along the way of questioning everything, and it's driving me crazy. But I don't know, well no, I do kind of know how to end that, but it, that kind of scares me. Because <laughs> it means I have to accept some things and, uh, never mind, this is going too far. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to explain to you, you know, as I always say, I don't intend to be rude or insult these people or claim they're liars and everything. It's just from the point that I'm coming from. I just started questioning too many things and uh, I'm sick and tired of that. On the other hand, nowadays it's, you, you just can't trust anyone it seems. <sighs> Never mind, let's go on. Maybe I can manage to shut up for five minutes now. What is it? 11, 37, 38? Okay. Those dolls would creep me out. Ah, here I go again. <laughs> Not even one minute. <laughs> what? What's with the? Is that the Batman? It looks like there's little pointy ears or Catman or something up on his head. A dog man, maybe. The moment it took off, it left a strange image on the recording. The kind of after image that looks like a camera glitched. Hmm. I now wonder if some of these camera glitches are the after images of apparitions moving so fast the camera only picks up what looks like a glitch. That looks cool. <laughs> Let's be honest, seeing something like this at the end of your bed would be terrifying. Commenters on the original video suggest that this entity is vibrating very quickly as it stands there, almost like it operates at a different frequency that we can't quite process. Others have also mentioned that it sounds like the figure has hooves or other animal-like features. Ha Whatever or... Yeah, I, the pointy ears, but what the... Where do they get the idea of hooves from? We don't see any feet. Whoever this was is horrifying. If you're ever seeking out the creepiest paranormal <laughs> content, be sure to subscribe to Kent's YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel Maine. There you'll find his latest video where he and his son experience some of the most amazing EVP captures ever. I haunt the guys cemetery. over at Lakeshore Paranormal recently uploaded a video that their viewers seem to love. 
While out at a supposedly haunted cemetery, the couple performed an Estes Method type spirit box session, where one person wears a set of headphones while the other asks questions aloud. The following is what they and their viewers think could be a partial manifestation, briefly and very quickly gliding towards the camera. See if you can spot it. Are you scared? Hey. Don't be afraid of me. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm actually trying to help you. I was just talking to the spirit. I thought you were trying to hurt me. No. It I'm sounded not... like a burp or a oh. I I'm not. Oh my gosh, I just seen some stuff. Replaying the clip again and slowing it down, you can clearly see something rush towards the original recorder no. as they speak. It's very faint and fast, but you can almost make out some sort of mist speeding towards the camera. But was this something paranormal though? All As I always, see is let me know what you think. Right also, check out the Lakeshore Paranormal blurs. YouTube channel for the full video. No. It I'm sounded not, like a burp or a oh. I, I'm not, oh my gosh, I just seen some stuff. I don't know if that was a mist or a... Graveyard shift. The following eerie clip was recorded by a man whose job it is to patrol a hospital during the oh. night somewhere in Mexico. The original poster is unknown, however, it is said by the secondary uploader that the footage was taken after the recorder heard whistling noises coming throughout the corridors. Although, as you're about to see, the original poster whistles back but doesn't hear anything. However, he does unknowingly capture something awfully creepy in the process. There was some whistling, I mean, could, that's loud. couldn't that just have been some, I don't know, somebody from the cleaning crew or a janitor, you know, people whistle or sing when they think they're alone. Even if they're not, if they're just in a good mood. Una y cinco de la madrugada. Estoy grabando. The security guard explains to the camera that he has been hearing whistles coming from all over the building. Escuchaban silbidos. Como ven, no hay nadie. Está vacío totalmente. A ver si podemos captar algo. Silencio total, silencio absoluto. Why is the why is it so blurry? Another entry to the ward. Why is the quality so bad? At this point, the guard attempts to catch the sounds on camera by whistling himself. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> The viewers with a keen eye would have noticed that there appears to be some sort of shadow figure watching from just inside one of the rooms the guard passes by. It's said that the dark figure you see just a few feet away isn't a reflection of the original recorder, but something much creepier. It could have been a, just a real person. Maybe, maybe it was a burglar who snuck in there or some person who was illegally there and he was hiding from the guard. Maybe he wasn't the one whistling. <laughs> Previous viewers of this spooky clip think that the figure quite possibly could be responsible for the original whistling. But as always, 
You be the judge. Prisoner for life. While investigating the cell blocks at West Virginia Penitentiary, the I'm creator behind the YouTube it. channel Epoch Paranormal Research mm -hmm. felt like something was watching them from behind. Just moments after recording one of the cells, the YouTuber pans out and to the right. It's at this moment they might just have captured something watching them from a distance. It looked like there was a person there. Maybe there was? Maybe someone's I hanging out I there. Like there's a person. And they're curious, why is there somebody with The a original camera recorder states that upon reviewing here. their video, they think that they may have captured a potential shadow <laughs> manifestation in the distance. However, they are not certain. Take another look for yourself and let us know what you think. It's kind of hard to tell. It could be just random shadows. The original recorder says that they felt like they were being watched. Perhaps this dark figure seen in the doorway at the end of the walkway was the reason for this. The paranormal research group operating around Cincinnati, Ohio think that this could be the real deal. A ghost caught on camera. But of course, again, what's your opinion? Doesn't look, I don't see anything that looks like a person or human form or shape. Abandoned the creator person. behind the Malaysian YouTube channel Supernatural Space recorded and uploaded a really freaky video roughly about this time last year. The 90 minute video saw them explore a female only prison somewhere in Asia. A building thought to be haunted by many who never left. The point of view exploration video makes the viewer feel like they are almost there with the explorer going through the building themselves. Although this might not be a good thing, because about half an hour or so into the video they capture something rather scary. I found that large spider web in the doorway the scariest so far. Cause ah, uh, spiders you know, and spider webs. Something you definitely wouldn't want to see there. in person. Oh good god. I'd be out of there already. Within quarters of a second I would have been gone if I'd seen that. I'm sure there might be a string attached, but... Uh -huh. If it starts ringing now, I'm... I'd scream. Is that paint on the phone? phone with the red stuff? Oh, yeah. Probably. Blood would have turned brown. That Now that is creepy. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a mouse inside. <laughs> that keeps running around and turning that If the age of this phone inside. didn't scare you enough, perhaps it dialing seemingly on its own does. The explorer seemed confused as he realized that the old phone appears to be moving on its own. Although it only gets worse from here. Some more supposed paranormal activity was captured upstairs while the original recorder was looking through some restrooms. Hey. I'd probably be crying by now. What's wrong? Uh. What's wrong? What's wrong, Nima? What's wrong, sir? Sir?
But he sounds pretty composed for that door just having closed and open. So maybe, I mean, there could be a Who's friend it? of his inside pulling pulling a string. Poodle. I'd be screaming and crying and running for my life. I mean that that that. Although the phone, I found the phone way much, way way much, way creepier. And we've seen so many doors open and close. But that phone was. How do you do that? You know, that's how do you make that thingy move? door opening and closing on its own is probably just as, if not scarier, than the old phone cooling itself. Funny no. This 90 minute video is just beyond it. bizarre. If you're scarier. interested in viewing the entire thing, look for the link in this video description. Oh, that was it. Okay, despite me doing all, all that talking now, the rest of it passed. Rather quickly. Uh, whew, okay, there were some, yeah. Nice videos in this. Despite me going on on all of them. No going off about all of them. But yeah, well, that's just me. What I, what I also find important is that I don't ever want to tell anyone what to think, you know. So if, if you were creeped out and you think that's all ghosts, that's fine with me. And sometimes I wish I could believe that as well, but I just can't anymore. Which is good on some levels and not so good on others, but oh well, that's just fine. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, enough talking. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. Have a great day or a great night and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.